All right, good day everyone. So welcome back to my YouTube channel, Kasiglik and Vlogs. Today we will be talking about combinatorics formula, counting rules, and probability. So by the use of combination formula and counting rules principle, uh, we could also derive probability. So there are three or there are ways that finding the probability using combinatorics formula and counting rules. So let us have first the first problem. Find the probability of getting four aces when five cards are drawn from an ordinary deck of cards. So in finding in finding the four aces, okay. So we have here in finding the four aces. Four aces. Since we need to get four aces when five cards are drawn, so therefore, if that is four aces, the chances that we could get four aces from a deck of cards is only one or four combination of four. If there are four aces, we get four out of the four aces also. The rest of the other cards is the fifth card, uh, we could get it from 48 remaining. So there are 52 cards. So 52 cards minus four, there are 48 cards remaining. And these 48 cards from, you get four aces. The 48 cards, we could derive it the fifth card. So Anika magkwa sa fifth card. So there are four cards nga I choose. Then the fifth card, nga imong kwaon, is imong makuha sa 48 remaining. Over, we have here the total sample space because the probability is equal to event over the sample space. So we have here 52 combination of 5. So these are the total sample space or the total cards is 52 and we choose 5 because we need to get 5 cards. So therefore, if we're going to compute this one, so we have here four combination of four times 48 over 52 combination of five is equal to one over five, four, one, four, five. So this is how to solve for problem number one. Find the probability of getting four aces when five cards are drawn from an ordinary deck of cards. Okay, let's have problem number two. A box contains 24 transistors, four of which are defective. If four are sold at random, find the probabilities that A exactly, exactly two are defectives. Since there are four defectives, and we need to get, uh, we sold four, and four of which are defective, and there are 24 transistors, and only we need to get two defective, so we could also get two non-defective. If there are two defective, there are also, we could get also two non-defective. So therefore, in finding the exactly two defectives, we have here, from four, four are randomly sold, okay, from the four defective, so we have to choose four combination of two, okay, four of which are defective, and two times, there are four transistors, 24 transistors, and we get already the four defective, so therefore, the remaining transistors is 20, and we need to take two non-defective. Okay. So over, this is the probability of exactly two, exactly two equals, and there are 24 transistors, and we need to get four at random. Again. In the question number one, or letter A, exactly two are defective. So there are 24 transistors and four are defective. 
find the probabilities that exactly two are defective. Okay, so we have to, uh, there are, we need to f get four, if four are random, if four are sold at random, so there are four, so find the probabilities. So four of which are defect, defective, you get it, and 20 non-defective, and 24 over four, combination of four, which is the sample space. Again, four combination of two, two because from two, four defective, we get two. And since there are four at, sold at random, so the remaining two shall be, uh, shall be acquired from the remaining 20 transistors. So if we're going to solve this one, Using calculator, 4 combination of 2 times 20 combination of 2 over 24 combination of 4 is 190 over 1771. So this is the answer. Okay, next is none is defective. For letter B, we need to get none uh, is defective. So since we need to get none is defective, so the probability of none is defective, none is equal to, since none, so there, there are four, 24 transistors and we get four defective, so the remaining is 20 non-defective. So 20 and we need to get four, uh, so four transistors over we have here 4 and we have here 24 combination of 4 as a sample space. Again, we need to get none is defective. So, in this case, 20 combination of 4 over 24 combination of 4. The result is 1615 over 35. Four, two. Okay. Next is all are defective. For letter C, all are defective. So probability of all. Okay, so we have here since we need to get all, so there are we need to get four transistors and there are four defective, so therefore four combination of four over twenty-four combination of four. So we have here 1 over, we have, okay, 24 combination of, combination of 4, 24, combination of 4, that is equal to 10, 6 to 6. Okay, so we all get all are defective. The next one is probability that at least one is defective. So the probability of at least is 1 minus the probability of none or since we need to get at least one is defective, the formula of probability of at least is probability of 1 minus none is defective or non-defective. So therefore, 1 minus probability of none is defective. So therefore, 1 minus the answer of this one, 20 combination of 4 over 24 combination of 4. The answer is, okay, so we have 1927 over 35. Four, two. So this is the answer for letter C also. Again, so these are the problems for number two. Next, we have here a store has six TV graphic magazines and eight news time magazines on the counter. If two customers purchase a magazine, find the probability that one of each magazine was purchased. So probability of TV and 
and news time is equal to since we need to get each one of the magazine so therefore we have here we need to six choose one and for eight c1 because we need to ch choose each one one for six and there are two customers for j so one and one also here because there are two one and one there are two cost of magazine from find the probability that one of each magazine was purchased so one two over and the total number of magazines now is six plus eight is 14 and we need to choose two so 14 combination of two that is equal to 40 okay let's have okay compute six combination of one times eight combination of one over 14 combination of two so we have 48 over 91 so this is the answer for number three the next one is every manufacturing process has the potential to produce defective article suppose a manufacturing process for a tableware produces 40 dinner plates of which there are three defective so there are three defective for instance there is a paint flaw if five plates are randomly selected from 40 what is the probability that at least one is defective so let us take note that the complement event is one minus the complement event so so one minus the event okay that's the complement of this one or one minus the probability of an event okay for at least one is defective and this one is one minus probability of non defective okay so we have here 40 the five plates are random selected from 40 people okay what is the probability that at least one is defective so first you need to find for the event so what is the event here so there are three defective okay okay but let us recall every manufacturing process a potential produce effective article suppose manufacturing process for table produces 40 dinner plates of which three are defective if five plates are randomly selected from 40 so therefore we need to get three are defective we need to get none is defective so 40 minus 3 that is 37 because we need to get none def is defective so we have to choose 5 so 35 combination of 5 this is our event and the sample space is 40 combination of 5 this is for non defective so therefore the probability is 1 minus the probability of none is 37 combination of 5 over 40 combination of 5 so the result of this one is let us calculate 1 1 minus 37 combination of 5 over 40 combination of 5 is Six, 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 seven over one nine seven six. So this is the probability that at least one is defective. Okay. So thank you so much for listening about my discussion about this combinatorial pro formula, counting rules, and probability. So it's your time to answer this problem. So I I prepared two problems. One and two. So 
Happy solving everyone and please comment your answer and please uh, tag me or please comment to be recognized in my YouTube channel. Thank you and God bless.